Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, uh, any little noises that you may happen to hear are only static. It's just something wrong with the system. Governor-General Sir John Kerr was in high spirits when he presented the 1977 Cup. Cheers from a small minority. However, uh, life is wonderful for all of us. Oh, I think all the Labor guys were having a go at him because he sacked, he sacked their boss. So, uh, I, I, I think uh, it was quite hilarious. I don't think he was too bad, actually. Won't say anything about Mr Cummings. It's all written down here for me on a piece of paper, but you've heard it over the loud speaker, and anyhow, you know all about him. Now... Kerr had dismissed the Whitlam Labor government in November 1975, and he was apparently got at before the Cup, not by a vengeful Labor supporter, rather by a friend from the Conservative side of politics. I think he'd been at Government House and probably Sir Henry Winnicky, who fancied a drop. He probably had one or two with Sir Henry. And uh, then he got out here and, of course, was put in the hands of uh, Sir Henry Baldy. And I know Henry uh, gave him a couple of decent charges before he went out to the presentation. <laughs> Do I hear some quaint piece of static over there? And uh, it got through the presentation fantastically, I thought. And uh, when he came back, I know that Alec Kresick, Sir Alec Kresick, was, uh, had just stepped down as chairman and he knew what happened and uh, he just walked across to, um, to Henry Baldy and simply said, Henry, you bastard. And I'll be back again as a spectator. She's on that trip of a lifetime and met the man of her dream.